I'm Nick Wood. I'm a freelance photographer. I also run Unshaken Photography Training. Today I'd like to share with you some great tips and advice on how to produce some stunning photographs. We're now going to talk about how to take great pet photographs. Many people would love to capture the character of their pets, but it's one of those tasks that often prove very difficult and fruitless. There's three key elements to taking great pet photographs. The first is choose the right location. The second is to shoot pretty fast. Your pet's likely to be moving around. And finally, don't underestimate the value of post-production and editing. You can really take one picture and give it a great number of different finishes and you might be surprised at which result you really like the most. Location. Very often people actually start trying to take pictures of their pets indoors at home. For me this is a pretty big no-no. It's very, very difficult to get a great, clean photograph inside your own house of anything. You'll be surprised at how the slightest little object hanging on the wall or leaning against the wall will really distract away from the main image. Taking pictures inside is very difficult as well unless you actually have some fairly specialist equipment or the latest cameras to work with. Try and get outdoors wherever possible. Just because you're outside doesn't mean you're going to get a great photograph either, unfortunately. Just make sure you're choosing the right location outside. Again, we're looking for the fewest number of distractions that could creep into our photograph. Have a look around. If you're dealing with animals such as dogs, they may well roam around. And you need to make sure that the areas they're going to roam in isn't going to lead to some nasty distractions again. Wherever possible, try to avoid really bright sunny days. For most people, they actually think this is the optimum time of year to be shooting when the sun's out. But you'll find your digital camera may well struggle. You'll end up with very contrasty shots. And if you have dark pets, black dogs, cats, anything like that, you may find that you really lose an awful lot of detail in the bright sunny conditions. Instead, you may want to try shooting on an overcast day, wrap up warm, or you may be looking for a location you can shoot where you're just going to be able to eliminate some overhead light, the sunlight if you like. This could be a canopy that you may have in the garden, or maybe even an overhanging tree. These locations will give you a nice, soft, even light, and it will really bring out the detail within your pet. Speed of shooting. Your pets are unlikely to stand still for too long. They may just be fidgeting around or wanting to be roam or want to be roaming around the garden. You need to find a way of controlling your camera a little bit. Take it off the fully automatic settings. You might have a sport setting on your camera, which just involves twisting a dial or a knob on top of the camera. Or it may be that if you're a little bit more advanced than that, you can play around with the shutter speed and just shoot at really fast speeds. The faster you can shoot your camera, and fire more frames off, you've got more likelihood of getting a great shot, but also of freezing the motion. And it's often these shots that are the real killers that you're looking for. You may also find a function that allows you to take more than one image every time you press the shutter button. Have a look in your manual. You'll probably find that your camera will have that facility to hand. You may also find, and this is a little bit more advanced, that there's a way of getting your camera to track subjects. In a sports mode, your camera will probably do this automatically for you. All you need to do is to hold your button down just a little bit, like just a gentle press, and you may then find that your camera is gonna track the subject and keep it in nice, crisp, sharp focus for you. It's a great attribute to have. Processing. The real beauty of digital photography is that you can play around with your images on your computer and change the way they look and feel. The chances are that you've got a disc that came along with your camera that will have some specialist software on there that you can use or there's many other standard brand names you may have heard of like Photoshop. Try playing around with the images that you take. Many pets actually come out beautifully well if you convert them into black and white or you look at the sepia settings that your software can provide. Also have a look at playing around with the composition of your photographs. You may find that you could move your pet to one side or other of the photograph rather than always having them in the middle of the shot. And this way it will look like they're running through the centre of the frame and really can bring your picture to life. In summary, there are three key ways of really getting great pet photographs. Choosing the right location, shooting at the right speeds and editing or post-producing your pictures to give you the finish that you really want. And that's how to take great pet photographs.